All right, y'all, it is Thursday, and y'all know what that means. Tomorrow is Friday, and Friday is Shy Day. Now, before we get into tomorrow's night episode, y'all know we got to do this trailer breakdown. And judging by this week's trailer, it don't seem like things are going to slow down in the shy. So, without further ado, let's get into the trailer breakdown for The Shy, Season 6, Episode 11. Okay, so boom. In the first clip of the trailer, we see Jake and Gemma having a conversation. And Jake says to her, if we gonna be together, we gotta be honest. Then we cut to a clip of Gemma and Brittany in the studio. And I don't know what it is about this studio, but apparently it turns Miss Gemma on. Because her and Brittany finna kiss yet again. Now, Jake said they gotta be honest. And I honestly feel like Jake know what's going on with the garments on with her and Brittany. And he just wanna lay it out on the table because he been looking at other girls too. So, at this point, he want to know what it is, what it ain't, and what they finna do. Me, personally, I don't see them making it out of season six together. I mean, look at the way he got her. You took her from your best friend, sir, so she wasn't faithful or loyal. And you know what they say, the same way you get them, it's the same way you lose them. Y'all, in the second clip of the trailer, we see Shad and Miss Alicia laid up. She negate him some of that cougar snatch. She done sunk her claws into him because we hear him say to her, you make me feel like a different man. Well, I thought Deja made you feel like a different man, Shad. How many different men are you? Then we cut to a clip of her asking him, do you want a real job? Now, whatever this real job is, I'm going to assume that he took it because, baby, you don't go from looking like this to this if you ain't making no money. And he is looking good this season. But he better tread carefully because how do y'all keep on getting yourself in these situations? I feel like they all know better. Now, he don't know Alicia, but I'm pretty sure that he's heard about Alicia. So... Baby, whatever he get himself into, we can't do nothing but give it to God and pray for him, child. We can't help him. In the third clip of the trailer, we see Papa in his second home, church. And this is where we're introduced to this new pastor, this new character. I don't know who he is, child, but Papa is holding on to every word that this man say. He is looking at this man with stars in his eyes. And then we see Papa telling his mama that he want to walk his own path. And his mama says to him... And abandon your family. So now I really need to know what's going on with the gun with owns. I need more context to this conversation. Because how is he abandoning the family if he's still there? Is he leaving Chicago? What is going on? We already lost Kevin. Can we keep Papa, please? And mm, I don't know. I, I don't like this new pastor. And I ain't even met him yet. But it's something about that man that I don't like. And Papa was not raised this way. What she mean abandoning the family? Papa don't have Papa Papa turning over in his grave. But then wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Because I just thought about something. What if the new pastor is Kenya's daddy? Because remember, Kenya's daddy is a pastor. And Papa's daddy and Kenya's daddy didn't get along. Because Kenya's daddy church, he got like the big church with the TVs and the cameras and all of that. And you know, Papa Papa went into all of that. So they wasn't rivals, but they, you know what I'm saying, they weren't friends either. So what if she mean like, you gonna leave our church and go to this church like you abandoning your family? Ooh, and then Kenya really don't like her daddy either, so that's probably why she was telling Papa to be careful. Ooh, child, two plus two equaling four. In the last clip of the trailer, we see Rob meeting with Victor's attorney, Alonzo, played by the one and only Leon. Mm -hmm. And Alonzo is asking Rob, did he ask Victor to help him off Duda? Now, wait a minute, pause. Let's backtrack because I understand why he would be asking Rob about Duda. But, baby, I'm going to need you to be asking about Q because that is the case that you are supposed to be fighting. Yes, Duda is the one who off Q. Yes, Duda is the reason for all of this. So, I can understand why he's asking about Duda. But, why are you asking him if he tried to unalive Duda? Everybody and their mama trying to unalive Duda. Why would he tell you, a state attorney, a lawyer, you work for the state, that he tried to off somebody? Baby, that is attempt murder. That is prison. Why would he tell you that? Who told you that he was the one who tried to unalive Duda in the first place? Baby, some in the milk ain't clean. I love me some Leon, Alonzo, whatever you want to call him. But baby, love can turn to hate real quick. Don't come over here trying to be no op. 
But anyway, y'all, that was that on that. I will be back tomorrow night with the official recap to the Shy Season 6, Episode 11. So come back for that. In the meantime, between time, don't forget to watch the videos for my other shows. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave y'all thoughts, opinions, and predictions about tomorrow's night episode in the comment section so we can chitty chitty chit chat about it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link them down in the description box. And yeah, it's your girl, Sydney and Renee, and I will see y'all tomorrow night. Peace. <laughs>